William from Badass Tents and I'm going to be showing you how to install our fuel tank holder. So here we have the ladder already removed from the vehicle. To remove the ladder from the ladder frame you'll have to remove the four four millimeter allen pin screws and uh, the the mounting of the ladder to the vehicle may be slightly different. Here I am removing the pins, there's four, one on each corner leg. Um, the, the ladder to the vehicle is attached by uh, two 15 millimeter screws on the bottom and the top may vary from two 10 millimeter screws to two Allen drive screws. As we separate the ladder here, we are going to flip the frame around and access the 10 millimeter bolts that are in the back. There are six of them total along with four Torx bolts. Here the 10 millimeter bolts are being removed. Now there are two upper ones and four lower ones. Next we will remove our four T20 Torx fasteners. There are four in total. This will completely separate the plastic from the metal mounting bracket. We are going to remove and replace the upper bolts. This is the existing bolts. We're going to replace them with the M6 um, stainless steel, slightly longer, a lot stronger hardware. So the two on the top take these spacers. And that's critical that you put the spacer on the bolt and then the bolt through the bracket, essentially making the bolt shorter. Just like so. Now in the bottom, there will be no spacer. You'll simply be replacing the existing bolt with the supplied bolt. And once again, so it'll be a stainless steel with serrated nuts, which don't need any other type of locking fastener. Now one critical step here is uh, centering the large mounting washers that you get with your 15 millimeter uh, ladder kit. These must be between the two plates. And I'll cut to a example here where I show it in place. This is just me detailing the six uh, bolts that were replaced with the six new bolts. These are the washers I, I'm mentioning want those between the two plates and when you secure your bolts make sure they are centered. This is important because when you mount your ladder to your car you'll want this to be centered. Now this is uh, us attaching your Rotopax mount to your bracket and it just simply bolts on with the uh, cap nuts facing the gas tank. And make sure to put lock thread um, on the bolts. Now we are um, secured all the, all the 10 millimeter bolts. Now I'm uh, replacing the uh, Torx fasteners back in place. Those only hold the plastic. So those are for the aesthetic purposes. But at this time is when you put those in. Then essentially your frame and ladder frame is assembled. I would recommend replacing it to the vehicle at this point because it's much lighter than with the ladder already installed. Makes it a lot easier for one person to do. Now we'll be uh, locating these plastic strips on the vehicle to prevent any scratching as we uh, reinstall the ladder bracket frame assembly. Here we're just showing you what it looks like when it's uh, got the mount in place. Now we do supply these little rubber um, friction pads. Uh, that inner one is the critical one. The outer one we found not to be necessary in second, second testing. Uh, here I am holding the bracket and you want to locate the top and install the bottom first. So this little barrel spacer goes on the inside. You can hold that with your 
hand as you thread the screw through. The washer is being held in by the two plates as we centered it before. Now that is uh, making it slightly easier to put on now. Here is the two 15 millimeter bolts being put in place. This is the upper mount. Now this vehicle happens to have M6 uh, four millimeter drive Allens. This is now the uh, fuel tank being located onto the Rotopax bracket. Um, at this point, we're gonna reinstall the ladder to the ladder frame with the original mounting pin screws. So you want to clip in the top first and not tighten anything until you have all four in place. So this is the third one and then the fourth one. Now they take, they, you have to wiggle this in place a bit to get them all to be centered. Once you have all four in, then begin tightening them. Now do not tighten this very tight. It's only about a four pound torque. It's a very small screw. Now we've clicked our ladder back in place and if you happen to want to run a double pack or two roto packs containers, all you need is an extender, place the extender in place and now you can run two jerry cans or of whatever variety you want. Now this is uh, Everything in place here, uh, you'll want to secure it and make sure it's very tight if they are full.